Hello, today I want to talk about skin health because I've met people that have drastically improved their acne, uh, drastically improved their psoriasis, and drastically improved their, what's the thing that's like psoriasis? Eczema. Um, so I met people that have done that. How did they do it? With three very important nutrients for the skin. Um, so in order of importance, I'm going to say equally zinc. Uh, so here's a zinc 50. Um, I take about, <laughs> I feel like that guy on Saturday Night Live. Ooh, scary. Um, so zinc 50, which is a little high. So I chop them in half. They're just tablets. I, so I feel a good amount of zinc would be about 25 milligrams. Um, if somebody has skin issues, they could do 50 milligrams per day for a short time, for like a week or two, and then come down to about 20, 25 milligrams. So zinc is super important for the skin cells and for the cells of the gut. Now the cells that line your gut and your skin cells are both epithelial cells and epithelial cells require large amounts of zinc and vitamin A. Which brings me to my second super important nutrient, vitamin A. Um, one drop of this stuff contains 10,000 IUs of vitamin A. Um, when I think of it, I'll take between 20 and 100,000 units of vitamin A at a time. Uh, lots of human evidence that that's an okay dose, not every day, but for a while. So if somebody had a severe skin problem, I would go with a high end of dosing for about like a week or two and then reduce. Now an important thing about zinc, uh, this is a problem or danger of taking zinc, is that zinc antagonizes copper and copper antagonizes zinc. So if you're going to take zinc for an extended amount of time, more than a week or two, I strongly recommend also adding copper that way you won't run out um, because copper um, having too much copper is bad so it's a quite a narrow range of safety for copper some people already have too much copper in their system so they just take lots of zinc and boom the copper is gone because it antagonizes it right um, I don't feel like I have any minerals out of balance so I just take a bit of copper just to make sure that my long-term zinc intake does not run out my copper so I do about 25 milligrams of zinc and about one or two milligrams a day of copper uh, so you need approximately 10% as much copper as zinc. So if you took 50 milligrams of zinc, you could take 5 milligrams of copper if you're going to go long term. Uh, zinc I also take being a male. Zinc is super important for prostate health, testicular function, uh, as well as general immunity in both sexes. So zinc can help you get rid of a cold because um, it's antiviral and it supports your immune system and so does vitamin A. So that's a little trick about skin. Um, yes, diet is important for skin, so try to cut out bad, uh, bad fats, so nothing fried unless you fry it with coconut oil or ghee or butter. So if you're getting restaurant food, don't get fried food, don't get deep fried food. Those are bad fats, they'll show up in the face, they'll show up in the skin. Um, so, and then sugar, um, acne is kind of like a skin version of diabetes, so sugar really drives acne as well. So avoid refined sugars, have as much fresh fruit as you want, but not refined sugars, and probably not too much fruit juice, because that's kind of all the, all the sugar without all the other goodness that gets thrown out when we, you know, juice a fruit and throw out all the fiber. There's a lot of vitamins, minerals, and enzymes gone, because those juices are pasteurized. But I digress. So a little blurb, hopefully a little, on uh, skin health. Thanks, guys.